Well, hello there, my name is Vinny Voodoo and I'm playing Warzone 2 and patch 1.11 just went in and the first thing I noticed it did, it added the words home, battle pass and store to the top so the battle pass and store should have been there all along I had to track it down, it was so hidden uh, so that looks a good update now, <laughs> I don't know what is going on with the graphic on that hand is that an axolotl or something? is that hand made entirely out of stem cells? this person has never done a day's hard work in their lives that is a terrible graphic to use as a brand new thing for the new patch. And speaking of graphics, that's why you're here. You're probably wondering why I'm recommending you turn off on-demand high-resolution text streaming. And you may be wondering what that setting does. Uh, and I've made an FAQ. Now, granted, that was for Warzone 1, but every bit of information in there uh, in that video, which I'll link to in the description and at the end, is pertinent for Warzone 2. And you find this under settings, so you go to your cog there, and go down to graphics, and it's the first setting there. Um, and uh, there's also a bunch of extra settings, and uh, an important one to note is this graph down here. And this shows you uh, how much uh, data has been pulled in by this setting um, on a daily basis. So if you've got a data cap, you can limit it, or indeed just turn it off. Um, and the bottom right there, it now says 0.24. This is the second time I'm recording this video, and it used to say 0.18. So it is pulling data in it's just not doing what it's supposed to and what is it supposed to well it's supposed to make the operators and guns look better so if i go to battle royale quads here and go to uh, an operator and i just unlocked one that's the me battle pass right there we go this fella here and we zoom in you can see very clearly how low res that is, and it doesn't resolve. Uh, and like if you look at some of my other texture pack videos, you'll see it improve over multiple stages. That's as good as this gets. I've left this on for 10 minutes, and it doesn't get any better than that. And if you look at that gas canister, you can't even read the text on it. Uh, and while we're here, I just want to mention this. So this is just mind blowing to me. The old war zone, when you turned left or right, physically turned your character as if he was a human being. What he didn't do is this. <laughs> I mean, come on. Whee! Go on, do it again. Yay! Um, it's just little things like that that how do you break that? It used to work. So how do you how do you decide that that oh that's okay? You know, we don't need to do any actual graphics. And it's you can't even zoom into their heads. I can't zoom in any higher than that. So doing a comparison video is going to be a, a little difficult, but I will try as and when the option is fixed. Now, how, I also know that it is working a bit because I've tested this. If I go to the store and look at a uh, bundle that definitely has an operator in it, and it's usually a bundle that costs more than uh, 2,000 or 2,000 or so. So this Overgrown should have an operator in it that I've never looked at before. So let's have a look at them. I might have looked at this guy, but that's okay. Let's, let's give it a preview. And one of the things about the preview in the store is they go to the right. So when you zoom in, you can't even see him anyway. So I have to physically force him into shot. Now, some of this is high res or at least medium res like that texture there. You can almost see the actual uh, canvas texture on it. But then you go to look at some of the other stuff like the buckle on the right there with the stitching. That is not high resolution. Um, that should resolve into something that looks like a real stitching. Um, and does not and of course I can't zoom in any higher look at the um, quality of the texture on his arm there it's just terrible I can't I can't zoom in on this the way that you could in the original and of course we uh, so yeah uh, this feature barely does anything I'm not gonna say it does nothing because that's definitely ta canvas texture there um, and I've got a feeling that they just haven't updated the servers enough yet to have all of the 4k textures on all of the items including the guns yet so I'm recommending at this juncture um, turning this up and you simply go to your settings again go to the cog go to graphics hit off and it says you sure and you go yeah and you'll never have to worry about it again because frankly it's doing nothing um and uh, it doesn't affect environment textures anyway and by that i mean the map so uh it doesn't affect the the final visuals of that map a lot of people think it does it does not um and it, let's go to the uh, graph of that just to see if that actually went up just for a laugh yeah it's 0.3 it was at 0.24 before so looking at 
that operator did actually pull in some data, probably that canvas texture that we just saw. But it should be much higher than that. When I've been looking at operators in previous videos in Warzone 1, it'll be at a gig within about half an hour, um, not at 300 meg. And that just pulled in 60 meg, which isn't enough for high-res textures on, on a couple of operators. And while I'm here, I just want to comment on comparing the guns, which I always do. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this, but let's say I go to Gunsmith to look at this assault rifle and I actually preview the weapon. It now permanently spins. That is not me spinning it. Uh, it spins at different speeds. You can get it to stop if you, if you, and my controller doesn't have drift. It's not that. It just spins. So doing a, a, a vid on this is going to be fun. But if I do zoom in and move over to the actual writing here, you can clearly see that that is, you know, barely readable where it says Los Angeles, California and stuff. That should be crystal clear um, and it's not. Uh, and by the way, if your gun's blurry, you have depth of field on and it doesn't turn it off when you're looking at your gun, which is again, you know, a little thing that they just should have checked, should have fixed. Anyway, jumping back to baby hand, I'm recommending turning this feature off until it does some good and it doesn't do any good at this moment in time. As always, my name's Vinny Voodoo. Look out for the videos that are linked at the end of this video. They're probably on screen now and I'll talk to you soon.